What's up, guys? Oh, wait. My bad. What's up, guys? You guys already know who I am. But, uh, happy Halloween. It's the 31st of October, 2020. We made it another year to the spooky season. Oh, boy. Anyway, I got something special for you guys. You guys remember the uh, the vlogs we used to do? The um, Adventures of an Undiscovered Hero? I got a special one today. It's kind of a twist. It's more of a spooky one, if you will. It's uh, my first time trying this, and I've tried to make something like... I've tried to make the same thing before for someone else, but it was a disaster. It was just a sticky mess all over the place. Pause. <laughs> but, uh, no. I'm going to be making a double layer cake. A spooky double layer cake, if you know what I mean. And it's a surprise. It's a big surprise. But I'm going to walk you through the process of me doing it. You know, have a little, little uh, BTS, if you will. Also... I found my silver version. Look at that. Shout outs to Lex. Thank you, brother. But anyway, let's go ahead and hop right into it. Let's uh let's go ahead and jump to the kitchen. Alright, awesome. We're here. So uh we're about to get to it. We got all our stuff set out right here. I'll show you guys in a second when I flip it around. But uh yeah, I might just do a voiceover because as you can see, I'm using this uh this little mic fob here. And it's missing a pop filter, and I don't want to risk the audio being doo-doo butter, so we're just gonna go ahead and do a voiceover. That would be best anyway. So uh let's just hop to it. Okay, looks like we made it. So uh I got the stuff set out here, little platform, all nice and clean. Don't don't get off me about my dirty, my dirty stove, bro. It's not even dirty, it's just old. It was here when we got here. First, before we hop into it, I'm using this little mic dongle here. It's uh, it's old, but I'm not sure if it works properly. And as you can see, it's missing the pop filter. So I think we're just gonna hop to a voiceover from here. That would be best. I don't know. I kind of want it to be organic though. Voiceovers are kind of robotic and after edits, you know? I kind of want it to be organic, if you know what I mean. All right, what's up guys? Benjamin with Babbage here. No. <laughs> All right, what's up dudes and dudettes? Jack's Blade here. No, let me stop, let me stop, let me stop, let me stop. All right, all right. All right. As you can see, we got our all stuff here. What are you doing, Kit Kat? Coming to say hello at my window. Y'all wanna see him? Hold on, wait. Look at Surprise came here by Kit Kat. Meow. All right, sorry, I gotta pick up and move the, the tripod everywhere. Actually, let's just go ahead and pan over this real quick. I'm gonna let you in, chill. Not over my, my stove, though. Get dingus. Let's read the back of this package. What does it say? Also, we're using Alma's mix. I don't know who Alma is personally, obviously, but it's I, what caught my eye about this mix is that it's black. It's black cake mix. Like I've never seen that before. Let's see what it says. We need three eggs. Luckily, I still got these. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bitch, I didn't know it could be used like that, huh? Bitch, I didn't know it could be used like that, huh? Actually, let me stop. Let me stop. Matter of fact, I'm gonna have to go buy some more eggs. All right, let's see if that's good. Yeah, that's good. Three eggs. We need one and one fourth cup of Actually, let's go ahead and pour it into our big mixing bowl already. The fourth. Get it too ahead of myself. Yo, look at that, it actually, I don't know if you guys can see that. Actually, let's go ahead and pour it out first. No, we'll get a little closer. Look, it's actually blue. Like, it looks like that, uh, you guys remember the sweet tarts, I think? They had, like, the dip sticks or whatever. Just look how it goes in. I was not expecting it to be blue. I thought it was just gonna come out black. Alrighty then. What else do we need? It smells great though. Like vanilla cake. I hope it's not dry. What else we need? We got the cake mix. Now let's add our three eggs. Peep the technique though. Peep the... Ooh, peep the technique. See the one-handedness? Can't touch me. Ugh. 
that's how you do it. What else we need? What else we need? So we need a one, one cold cup of water, I think. Where's our mixing cup at? Read that bag again first. One and one fourth cup of water. Yep. Luckily, we're right inside the cabinet. Where you at? There you are. Got the handy dandy blue uh, measuring cup. One and one fourth. Let's see. So since it's one cup and one fourth, I assume you guys can't really see that. I got the light over here so it can give a little better perspective. We're gonna need to measure to one cup and then come up here to the one fourth marker. As you can see right there above the one cup marker. All right, that's exactly, is that exactly it? Almost steady, it's a little bit under so we're gonna pour some more. Oh no, now I'll pour too much. Too much again. Pour a little bit out. There we go. Exactly. Can't really can't see it because my hand's kind of shaky. Shaky. Exactly one cup and one fourth of water. Toss that bad boy in there. Oh, look, you can already tell. You can already see how it's changing from that light powdery blue to black. This is about to be hype. Hold on a second. I wish my tripod wasn't so bad. It's like my original tripod, my big one, I threw away because one of the legs broke. And now my gorilla pod that I have now, one of the legs are broken on it. Like it's missing a pin, so it's like wobbly. <clears throat> so I have to be very careful when I pick it up and put it down. Now we need half a cup of oil. And then we just mix. Mix. Schmix. All right, before I go crazy and mess this up, I did say half a cup of oil, right? Okay, yeah, half a cup of oil. All right. Let's see if we can do this right. Ooh, don't fall. Ah, oh, he's falling. He's falling. All right, let's pick it back up. Pick it back up. Pick it back up. I can't do like direct downwards. Move that to the side. We need half a cup, so it's about like right here. If you can see that little bit line way down there. See the beer just right. That's a lot of oil, bro. You making brownies? Alright, that looks about it. Let's pick that up and see. Uh, yeah, it's about. It's a little bit under actually. We're gonna pour a little bit more. Just a little a little dollop. Let's see. One more. One more. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and dump that bad boy in there. It looks kind of interesting. You can see the food coloring on the sides right here. Like there's a little bit of red in there. I guess it's the primary colors they use to make black or whatever. All right, now we're about to mix this up. Got the other three eggs for the next layer. Because as you guys know, it's a double layer cake. Let's get that to the side. And this bad boy right here. And let's get our mixing. Mix. 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 I don't have a mixing utensil. Yeah, we're gonna just use a whip, whatever. It doesn't matter. Except you gotta wait on the egg for later. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Actually, let me read the directions before I mess this shit up. Mix. Come on. Water, oil, a large bowl, beat on medium speed. Okay, so yeah, we can use the egg beater. If you guys don't know, in cooking, if you use the egg beater, I don't know how it works in baking, but if you use the egg beater, it um, allows air to sift through the food that you're making. That's how you can also make extra, extra fluffy eggs without adding like milk or whatever. Sorry, let's go ahead and mix this in. Ugh, it's super thick. Gargle. I keep alerting the guards. Let me stop. 
before we get demonetized. We're not even monetized anymore no because YouTube trying to be some some Tatiana. All right, let's see. Ugh, look at it. it; looks like tar. Like, look at that. That's a lot of mix. We might only need to make one. But I don't know. Like as you can see back here, our cake pan is really big. It's big enough to hold all our ingredients. Oh man, about to have arthritis for real. Loki already do. Too many League of Legends matches. Oh, I need a mixer. Yep, I need a mixer. This is too much. It smells good though. Kind of smells like. Kind of smells like those sugar cookies you get from the store, with the icing on them. Unpopular opinion. I actually love those cookies. Don't at me. I need to go ahead and pull out the electric mixer because this is really, really thick. Like, look, it's like pancake batter thick. Get all that those lumps out of there. Lumps out of there in the fucking world. Yo, I miss playing rock band with my, my friends from my hometown. We should get together every Friday and play rock band after school. Alright. I know that's not two minutes, but fuck that. I'm done. We've got our icing it out and our sprinklers. Also, I got this cool, like, they had this up here beside the cake batter, the cake mix, so I decided to get it. It's like, um, it's icing, but it also comes with, like, the tips. And I'm really, um, excited to see how that turns out. I've never actually like icing the cake like that before. All right, we got our eight inch pan. As you can see, it's too big to fit on the whole screen. Yeah. Put on first that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put that bad boy down there. Hit it with some non-stick spray. Let me not spray this first. I was looking at a tutorial earlier and it said to use the parchment paper at the bottom of the uh, the cake pan so it will be easier to pull the cake out. So because if it gets stuck at the bottom and you let it cool too long, it'll get stuck to the bottom and then you just mess up the whole cake because it'll crumble. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some parchment paper, outline it, and cut a big circle in it. So Scooch everything out the way here. Sorry, little Ouija. I have an exacto knife too, so that's perfect. So we're gonna do this place. The cake pan down like that. Is cooped. See it rolling up there? Yeah. <laughs> no, I missed a little pot spot. No chances though. I'm gonna go back in with the exacto knife. Cause like I said, I want this to be perfect. But on the other hand, I heard this quote recently last week. Perfection is cool and all, but 
You should rather it be done than perfect. That goes for pretty much anything you do in life. As long as you get it done, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can make it perfect later. Now we're, we're going to finally spray the bottom of our pan down with the Pam non-stick cooking spray. Oh boy, almost out though. Alright, spray that down. And what you're going to do is you're going to lay your parchment paper down in there. Since it's curling up like that, like that, we're going to lay it upside down so when it curls up, it'll stick to the pan. Look at that. Look at that. It's looking crisp. Kind of press it down. The camera's on the other hand, so I'm trying to do this just like that. Now it's optional from what I was reading. It's optional. You can spray this down too, which I'm trying to do. And now it's ready for our batter. I actually kind of want to mix this a little bit more. It's a little lumpy. It's not too lumpy, but like I said, get it close to as perfect as I want to get it. This whisking technique they taught me at Waffle House. <laughs> Yo, let me try to let me try some magic stuff. Get on the more. Keep the one hand technique, boy. Keep the one hand technique. So you can see a little bit more of the detail. Yo, that's sick. That's the thumbnail right there. Alright. You know, I'm gonna try to scrape a little bit off with the uh where's our little late? There it is. We got a little label thing too and we got the mixer out. So we're gonna try to scrape this up. Get as much batter out of the bowl as I can. It's pretty dope though. Like you can still see kind of where the colors were coming together. Oh no, party fell. I like got some of it on the edge. Wait till you guys see the candles I got for this. It's literally gonna blow your mind. Alright, scrape the edge. Alright, that's fine. I'm gonna wash my hands because I got like black stuff all over them. Paper towels. Get that in there. There we go. Clean up this little drizzle spot right here. Perfect. Everything's mixed together in the pan. How long are we gonna cook it for? We're gonna cook it for 25 minutes, it says. It'd be dope if it baked really big and then we could just cut this in half. Because if we can cut it in half the first go, that would be perfect. But let's go ahead and throw it in the oven for 25 minutes. Ooh, I didn't even see that there. All right, bad boy, here we go. Close this back up. All right. Hey, Google. All right, the timer just went off for the cake, and uh, we're about to pop it out here. As soon as I find one of those little things, you know what I'm talking about. All right, here it is. It came out a lot thicker than I thought it was, which is a good thing. So it looks like we're gonna have to just cut it in. Uh oh, I don't know if it's supposed to be. Uh... 
cushy in the middle where we gonna take it out. I hope this bitch don't deflate. Look at that. Look at that. We are like swimwear if we don't stop trying to close the stove. Prematurely. Look at that. Look at how dark it came out. It looks perfect. It looks very spooky. Very, very spooky. So, we're going to let this cool off for about 10 minutes and we're going to come back and we're going to flip it out. So, let's jump cut. All right, and we are back. Yeah, sorry for being so close to the camera. So, our cake is done, which you can see like right here outside the edge. Now, you're supposed to have the cardboard cutouts for the cake so you can place it on top, but since we're poor, I had to switch that out for something else. But it's okay, it'll still work the same. Super, super, super white and well, it's pretty thin too but it's gonna do what i need it to do we need to get some of the icing and just put a little bit on the center so the cake doesn't slip off of it i just want it because it's orange icing come on it's a spooky cake can't make spooky cake with butter butter pecan icing Ooh, it's a rich orange too Ooh. So just like diabetes. Right. Sugar knife. We're just gonna get a little spoon, a little dab of that. Come on, buddy. Put it out there, I'm just gonna spread it out just a little bit. This, is most, this has to be the most ghetto cake you've ever seen made. I do like how the orange comes, like, spreads out, though. Like, it looks really nice. That's exactly the color I was looking for. Put that back in there. Scoot that to the side. Now what we're going to do is lay this on top of the cake and then flip the cake over. So, pray for me. We can retry this as many times as we need to, but let's just hope this first try is all we need. All right. Here goes nothing. Scoot that out the way. All right. Kind of swerve that on a little bit so it gets stuck around everywhere. Whew. All righty. Now what I'm going to do, since I don't have a cake to stand, I'm going to use this nine inch pan. I think it's nine. Yeah, it's nine. Nine or either ten, whatever. And I'm gonna put it on top like this. Since it's bigger, we don't have to worry about it sliding off or anything. What I'm gonna do is just flip the whole thing. So let's reposition the camera back over here. All right. A little bit of parchment paper. Woo. Here he goes. Oh, the bottom of this is so hot. One. Two, three. Oh, I'm so nerve wracking. This is so nerve wracking. All right. Slowly lift up. Oh, look at that. I mean, of course, you got the parchment paper there, but we can just peel that bad boy off slowly so we don't break anything. Look at that. Yo, turn up. No veggies. Wow, look at it. Came out perfect. And it looks real dense. We in there. Let's get a close up of that real quick. Uh, look at it. It's a little crumbly, but it's okay because cakes have icing. You don't gotta look at the ugly little you know pieces. Look at that though. It came out great. Boy. We in there. Alright, now we gotta make the second one.
播音又 OK， 我们西边跟我什么喝的来着？不行，不去喝了，没关系。OK， s e l e b r a t e cute and festive. Oh, wiggly booty. Oh, wiggly booty. Oh no, you look like a camera shy. Maybe you are. Still look cute though. We're gonna go ahead and pop this bad boy in there for 25 minutes. And you、uh, ready to pop on top of that? Slide into the middle rack so it bakes more evenly. Closing in. Hey Google, set a timer for 25 minutes. All right, 25 minutes. Starting now. Oh, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> hmm. We've already put this on as our base. I should just flip it out. But it's gonna be our base now, so we gotta find this one, flip it out. We need to flip it onto that. I don't know the best technique for this, so you're gonna have to bear with me to get lathered on here. All right. The only thing I know is when um, this is so nerve wracking. Cause last time I did this, I goofed it, and I'm scared. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put up some of our icing on this. So when we do get ready to lay that on top, it'll just slide over. I might need to go to the store and get some more icing real talk. I know all the real cake make,、uh, all the real bakers out there, cringing at this. So, basically, my idea, since Google can't help us on this one, slide this over just a little bit and flip this the same way we flip this one, but hopefully, it stays. I wish I could flip it on top of there from there automatically, but that's some scary shit. All right, three, two, one. Who almost dropped the whole cake? Y'all didn't see that, but I almost dropped this entire cake. My parchment paper, looking more crisp. Oh, oh, look at that! Look like sex. <laughs> Not really. I'm gonna have to cut that out too. Oh boy! Surely you can't just lift the entire fucking cake onto another cake like that. So, ay ay ay, boy, this is some scary business. Well, what kind of predicament is this, boy? If you ask me, this is the scariest part of 2020. I'm not gonna lie to you. I hate flipping cakes. I hate it. But that's why I gotta do it because I hate it. Oh, it's already sticking to the other side. No, sir. No, no, -uh, no, sir. No, 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 no. We got it on, but barely. We fucked up. We cracked it, but it's savable. It's savable. Ah, fuck. We cracked the cake, brothers. We cracked it. No. Maybe I can like kind of situate it so it doesn't slide off. All right. Well, that's it. It's there, but it has a big ass dip in the middle of it. This is at least a twelve, a fifteen pound cake. That cake is heavy as fuck. Yikes! Well, geese, this is what it looks like. Before I slather it with icing, it looks dope. At the same time, but I don't know. Something's different about it. The second cake collapsed, which is never a good sign. But it's already better than the other cake we made, so that's a plus sign. Look at this—we made a dip, a dip in it. But I hope it's gonna be fine. Like, 
I saw the part where it's messing up too because I was pushing on it that way, but then when I moved the paper, it kind of janked it that way and it kind of cracked it all through there. But it's okay. It still looks pretty good. As you can see all the way around here. It's a mess up here though because we've been doing things. It came out a little uneven, but like I said, this is my second cake ever in my life. We can only go up from here, right? Let's lather some some icing. Here, let's get a spoon for this. Just add an icing and it's kind of oozing everywhere. This is a mess. This is a whole ass mess. All right, guys, looks like we're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. Honestly, though, that looks pretty, looks pretty dope. So, uh, as you guys can see, we're out of icing, sadly. So we got to go to the store and get some more. We're almost done, though. We're really, really close to being done. And I just dragged that whole piece of paper off. Alrighty guys, we're out of Walmart. Sadly, they didn't have any icing anywhere in returns or in back stock. But like I said, we got the cool K can. And I guess we're gonna check out a, uh, a market now because we really need that fucking icing. Who's making orange fucking cake? Who's buying? The girl in there told me that somebody came in there and bought 32 cans of fucking orange icing. For what though? Oh, let me get my thumb out of the way. For what though? Anyway, we're about to go ahead and hop back on this dusty trail and see if we can find some icing somewhere else, I guess. Anyway, all right, I guess, uh, ease it out and down? I don't know. We'll see in a little bit. Luckily, I live in a big enough town where there's like four Walmarts, two neighborhood markets, two big ones. But luckily, I went in there into the neighborhood market that's a little bit close to my house, and I got one. I was lucky enough to find the very last fun fate. Anyway, we secured a bag. Let's go ahead and make it back to the house, bro. We gotta finish this damn cake, man. We've been making this cake all day. Golly. All right, jump cut, man. All right, guys, we made it to the house finally. It's time to clutch this cake out. 
once and for all. Oh my god, we done been through a whole ass journey. I saw this dude dressed up as fucking, uh, what's his name? Ghostface. Driving a weird ass pickup truck. I'm not messing with it. I'm like, alright. So we're gonna just go ahead and flip back to this camera, bro. Alright, we're back. And we got the sauce. God, I mean, I mean, look at that. All right, let's get down here and get back to business. Oh no, let's uh, straighten that back out so it doesn't tilt or anything. All right, here we are. Back again. Devoted. Devoted. That actually looks really good too. Super thick. One can, so we gotta, we gotta be good. This is the only can for like a good full, I guess, a full mile. Yeah, full mile already. In all directions. Actually, look at that. And a cool ass design all around, all around it. together like little pegs okay that makes sense all right this is really shiesty this is really shiesty looks more like chocolate. Here we go. too bad I want to fill that I'm gonna try to fill it in I'm gonna try to fill it in all right that looks a little better <laughs> what's his name gonna be I can't name him Jack because Jack's my dog and my cat coincidentally mm, we'll just name him Jerry Jerry that's it shout out to Jericho look at him he looks so good though it's kind of hard to believe that we made that that's crazy Wow, look at that. Oh yeah, surprise. My candles are actually dynamite and I'm about to blow this joker out. But anyway, thank you guys for joining me on this lovely adventure on Halloween night. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this terrible, terrible creation we made, Jerry. Oh no, I need to take a. I might take a steal of Jerry and put him on the wall. Look at those teeth. I should have got like some white icing too. I mean, it still works. It's orange and it's a pumpkin, and you can tell it's a jack o' lantern. But it's not the prettiest. <laughs> but it's still there. So thank you guys for joining me today on this lovely Halloween night. Don't forget to bear crunch that like button. Tell me what you guys thought about the whole process we've done today. Down in the comment section below. And as always, actually, if y'all want to see me cook some more stuff, tell me. Let me know. Let me know. Because I've been thinking about cooking some stuff, but I don't know how people would actually like it. Because I'm kind of a sporadic cooker. But you know, um, you know what I mean. But anyway, don't forget to bear crunch that like button, and I'll see you on the interwebs. Peace.